As the industrial world expands, and thus involves an ever-increasing proportion of the world's population, the demand for cost-effective transport is growing, not least when it comes to sea transport. In order to guarantee an efficient, economically sound, safe and environmentally sustainable shipping industry, there must be enough people with wide-ranging competence who can design and build ships, navigate at sea, operate machinery, and load vessels, while safety at sea is still given priority, and the marine environmental impact is minimized. At Chalmers University of Technology, we work with education and research within this broad field of knowledge. Our education programs lead to qualifications as master mariner, a profession entirely without geographical boundaries, or marine engineering, which can lead to employment as ship's engineer. Studies of shipping and logistics lead to management roles in logistics within the shipping industry. The programs comprise of theory, wide-ranging practice periods and training in advanced simulators. It feels like reality, but the costly consequences of mistakes are avoided. In our training centres for firefighting and ship evacuation, the students are trained in coping with various types of emergency. Our programmes contain more than preparation for the operation at sea. We offer an international master's degree in naval architecture and ocean engineering, with emphasis on the construction of ships and offshore structures, as well as a master's programme in maritime management. An education for the next generation of leaders in maritime sector and a master's programme in marine engineering. Knowledge and technology that is at the forefront today can be obsolete tomorrow. By working at the cutting edge of research and development, we contribute to a more effective, safer and environmentally sustainable shipping industry. In marine structural engineering, material fatigue and lightweight structure design are examples of research areas where design for safety is the main priority. Here are some important questions. How can marine structures be safely designed against total loss in case of collision or grounding? How can we reduce the power needed to run the ship by reducing waves or drag or increase the efficiency in the propulsion system? How can we predict and improve a ship's stability, motions and performance in various sea conditions? How can we design ships and use fuels that have minimal impact on the environment combined with a safe environment and safety for the passengers and the crew? And if an emergency should arise at sea, how can we be prepared? We undertake research into human behaviour in critical situations and into indispensable equipment, organisation and training for situations when the evacuation of a damaged vessel is needed. We create meeting places where the shipping industry meets the academic world and where joint projects within research and education are initiated. One example is Lighthouse, which is a maritime centre of competence, and Ocean Energy Centre, a competent centre for research within renewable energy sources such as wave and tidal energy. Modern ships are wonders of advanced technology, and when all ship owners around the world have access to the same technology, we in Sweden can create competitive advantages by being at the front line when it comes to safe and sustainable ships and shipping. To contribute to this is our mission. Sweden has always been a nation of seafarers, and what place would be better for the Nordic Centre of Research and Education within Navigation than Gothenburg, the largest port in Scandinavia, with a long tradition of shipbuilding. This is where we are situated. Chalmers University of Technology, with the Department of Shipping and Marine Technology,